All right, so I've got my little badass generator, and then I've got this uh, six-gallon tank, I think, maybe. Yeah, it's six gallons. And then, so I want to make that deal help this deal stay gasolated. It's a new word. So I think what I'm going to try and do from the interwebs I've seen is because this is my vent line, because this, come on. Ah, it actually seals, it's airtight, it's got the gasket and it goes down, so it doesn't allow for airflow. And I know that because you can see maybe like there, so uh, somebody's actually stepped on that. And uh, if you fill it up too tight, tighten the cap, and that doesn't have a spot to vent because it's filled with fuel, it'll shut off. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is try and hook that dealer up through the vent line. How I plan on doing it is, I bought this regular uh, like fuel line, fuel self priming line for like boats and such that would hook up to it. And then I have this line right here, I believe it's 3 16 And then that goes into the vent, so the vent line is 3 16 as well. And then that's, uh, I can't remember, but I bought the piece for it. So this will slide in there, and I believe this this end right here shall slide into the other end of the hose. I know it'll fit because I got excited and I put my adapter in there uh, just to ensure that it fits uh, before I put a clamp or anything on it. And then, so essentially what's gonna happen is it's gonna, it's gonna cause a vacuum. So if this is all the way sealed and then the vent is over here, that's gonna need to vent. So it should pull the fuel from that deal to that. So we'll see if that shit works or not. It might not. Fuck, I don't know. I'm not a genius. Or, um, yeah. Alright, so I've got this piece on. So then I should be able to take this hose, shove it in there. Then I'll take this little piece. I'm probably going to cut a small piece off of this. Just to be able to hook this up and that up to the same uh, line just to see if I can get everything hooked up uh, and working before I go buy some actual tubing to, um, for the final touches, I guess you could say. Alright, so here's my thought process. So I have my tank right here. It's six gallons. This one right here, it'll run my camper and everything when we do stuff almost eight hours. But I don't sleep well when we're doing that, so I always wake up like three or four hours into it. I go outside, refuel this thing in the middle of the night, smell like gas, got a flashlight. I wake everybody up in the camper. Um, so I just wanted, you know, some more fuel to keep this thing chooching longer. So my thought process, I saw like some people doing the uh, like with vent lines, people have vent lines in their caps. I don't have that, although this one looks like it seals. So I have my vent right here. So if I close that vent up with this line, it should cause a vacuum to pull fuel out of here because the vent is gonna be right here. Um, I pulled the vent line off, so this thing's just venting. I ran it for a little bit, it didn't shut off at all. Because this thing is fancy, so the vent line runs to it fucking box. I don't know what it does. I didn't open it up. I don't care. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook all this shit uh, to the vent line. Maybe. If I can get it. Alright, I got it. Put a little hose clamp on there. I'll probably prime this bitch up. Alright. This motherfucker is primed. I did that to kind of keep it away from all the hot over here, maybe something like this. That's on there. And let it run. See if it's taking fuel out of here. So I have the vent open. This thing is all the way tight and sealed. Should be decent. Alright, new day. I moved this shit out into away from the house. I'm gonna let this thing run for a bit. You can see it, but the fuel is like right around here-ish. So I'm going to turn this thing on, let it run, hopefully it'll run. If I come back and the fuel's out of there, my idea has worked. If not, I'll figure something else out. Alright, 
so we live in Florida, so it's getting ready to rain again. So this thing's only been running a few hours, but the mark is here, and the fuel is down below it. So I haven't been able to run it for forever because the, the rain is coming. But it seems to be working. So I might try and run it tonight under uh, a canopy of sorts to see that if it actually takes fuel. But it seems to be working. I mean, it hasn't stalled out at all. And um, that thing seems to be pressurized. So go team.